Hello friends, uh, today I am going to show you how to configure Cisco ASA 5505. So the first thing I have to check uh, the COM port, uh, go to computer management and then hit device manager. So it's taken COM3. Now I'm going to search the putty and hit enter. Select the serial and just uh, select the COM3. So I'm going to put the ASA on and open see my is on it is showing so it's book booting I'm going to show you some basic commands So here you can see the, the Cisco ASA5505. I have connected this Cisco ASA via console. And here is the memory. So reading from flash. So the prompt has coming. So now I'm going to enable and I have already set the enable password. So now I'm going to uh, check my commands. I have already uh, configured it. Here is the Ethernet 0 I have configured for the VLAN and Ethernet 1 for the VLAN 2. So I have given VLAN 2 for the inside or the internal IP and VLAN 3 for the outside now here is the the username you can see here and uh, I have enabled the SSH also see this is the command for the SSH that's mean uh, whenever any uh, request for the SSH connection it is only taken uh, if the, the request is coming from this uh, network so first I'm going to show you some important command see here is the default route or the gateway you have to give the outside because I'm going to uh, going for the internet connection. So here's the default gateway, and here is the netting command. And for the ASDM, you have to enable first enable the HTTP server. And then you have to put from where uh, if there is a, any HTTP uh, request is coming 
so from where it will be accepted so uh, whenever you are logging to your browser uh, type HTTPS and then of the IP address here so it will be prompt as a install ASDM launcher you need to install the Java latest version so I have already installed ASDM so here is the IP address of the Cisco ASA then I'm going to put my uh, password and the, I have already shown you the Shusham name is given uh, C so here I have given the username and the password so uh, through this I'm going to uh, access ASDM so Here is the dashboard. Here you can see the host name and the ESA version, ASDM version, and the firewall firewall mode is routed, and the flash memory is 128 MB. Here you can see the device uptime, and here is the CPU utilities. Now, uh, if I hit the configuration. Here is the setup wizard. If you are new in ASA, you can launch setup wizard. See, uh, I have already uh, configured, though I am going to show you. So, here is the host name you can give. And next, and then you have to choose the VLAN. Okay, and uh, which one is the outside VLAN, and which was is inside VLAN, and which one is in DMZ VLAN. So DMZ, I'm not, I'm not uh, going to take the DMZ. I'm just configure the inside and the outside for the basic installation. So here I put the outside VLAN for the Ethernet zero by zero, and for the inside VLAN, that's mean internal IP. You can say the, the this is the internal IP and this is the uh, for the internet or the uh, from the ISP or whatever you give them the IP address okay so here is the port for the internal and here is the for the WAN then next hit and here you can see the uh, what is the outside IP address and what is the inside IP address you can uh, use uh, DHCP also if you want to then hit enter for the DHCP server uh, I have already disabled the DHCP server if you want to enable the DHCP server you have to put the starting IP address and the ending IP address and the DNS server so here is a NAT I am using use port uh, PAT that means dynamic NAT so here is the use IP address on the outside interface that means uh, whatever IP address in your inside whenever it is going to the outside network it will be translated uh, to the outside or the WAN IP address Hit next if you are ready here is uh, the HTTPS or the ASDM so I have already shown you uh, through the console uh, though I am give show you uh, through the ASDM also SSH uh, is enabled and uh, it is enabled for the inside only it will be accept only inside request and as well as the for the HTTPS also the inside IP address or the subnet you can see here is a 192.168.14.0 that means the all the local uh, internal IP address is accepted uh, through the for the for the request a HTTP or the HTTP uh, S or the SSH 
so here is the 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 summary you can see here is the summary so i'm going to cancel and exit okay now i'm going to show you the interface here is the interface and if i'm going for the routing and here is the static route is there i already shown you the the static route so here is the static route the same shown in the i'm sorry uh, the hdm and i'm going to show you the firewall see here is the access rule command and here is the net command so thank you for watching uh, please uh, subscribe my channel for the next updated video thank you